Did you see the Illuminati update by Oz? Did he finally do an Illuminati update? Because I've been waiting for this for a long time. He did do it. Let's talk an update on Illuminati drama. I actually haven't even seen this video, so I think we should we should probably watch this right now. As you guys know, I've been following the Illuminati drama pretty extensively. I think I've made, what, five or six videos? Let's see here. One, two, three, four five, six on my second channel, and a seventh on the main channel. So seven videos in total about the Illuminati drama. One of the more interesting sagas on YouTube I've seen in the past few years, I think that um, it's funny to see commentary channels get in drama, particularly. It's very interesting. But yeah, I haven't even seen this Oz Media video, so I should probably watch it. For those who don't remember, the last update we had in Illuminati is that she was apparently threatening a lawsuit against Oz Media. Tom the type of guy, Tom Dark the type of guy to grow a giant lump after an anvil falls on his head. What do these comments mean? Uh, the top comment on every video is something to the effect of Tom Dark the type of guy. What type of guy am I? Explain what type of guy I am. All right, anyway, we're going to take a look at this Oz Media video. Video. Let's talk an update on Illuminati drama. The setup is whack. Howdy everyone. I'm Oz in the flesh. No cartoon avatar this time. I'm making this because I'm giving an update to both my regular viewers and those who are here for something a bit more specific. To my regular viewers first, I hope this video can help explain where I've been over the last three years. For those who are here for the Illuminati drama, I do have some news. And I'm making this video for full transparency, as I believe this is important in a situation like this. First and foremost, I need to make everyone aware, for reasons that I What's hope- the cat plushie? I think that's a lasagna cat plushie. Hope this update will make clear, for my safety, I need to put a short and temporary pause on production of my video on Illuminati. The video will still, of course, be produced. I just need to put things on a lower burn and return to regular content for the time being, for many reasons. Some of them being the honest truth that I can't afford to continue at this rate, both fiscally and physically. Illuminati has taken this to a legal front, using the courts because of how poorly things went for her on the internet. As a reminder, for those of you unaware, Illuminati started a fight with a lawyer on Twitter, accused him of copying her style, which then led to other content creators and past collaborators speaking out about their past interactions with her. Illuminati is the one who took this off of Twitter and brought it onto YouTube, where she would then post a note of one of her former employees for the world to see as an attempted own. Now, full transparency, I was one of the creators who spoke out against her, despite the fears and hesitations that I had. I've put a lot of things in my life on hold to produce video. It's not that surprising that there's a lawsuit happening. I remember back when this drama happened, um, obviously this isn't totally confirmed, but one of the claims, I think, I think it was from Wonderstruck, his channel, he said something to the effect of Blair being very litigious, like if she found out that someone was talking to her online, she'd send it to a lawyer immediately and be like, could we feasibly sue this person? She was always trying to take people to court for me being mean to her online. And I guess no lawyer wanted to take it seriously until more recently because her channel is obviously being destroyed. But I'm curious why the defamation lawsuit against against Oz Media, but not against the Click, because you'd think that the Click had a lot, you know, a lot more interesting stuff going on there in terms of claims made about her. I mean, the Click had an entire hour long video where basically called her a psychotic piece of sh doesn't seem to be any legal problems with that one. Now, granted, the click is in another country, so it's probably more difficult to sue them. But I think that you can contact a lawyer from the native country and then try to sue that person. Like, I remember there was like a potential defamation lawsuit happening from one creator to another. And he like this guy, he basically was like, I want to sue this third party. I want to sue this person. So I'm going to contact a lawyer in the other person's country of residence and try to see if I can get a defamation suit. And, you know, things were getting started. The suit did not end up, the suit did not end up going through. But realistically, Blair could try to take some kind of action against, um, um, against the click maybe even a privacy complaint she could try that but she seems to be not even trying that whatsoever it's because the click could probably afford to defend himself in court i mean that's probably a part of it yeah from what i understand oz media is not in the most amazing financial position which is why they're talking about making regular content again right because they can't afford to not make videos while dealing with this lawsuit um which it would probably be good for them anyway considering you don't want all your minds to be you don't want all of your mental energy to be on something as serious as a lawsuit you know basically sucking away your life force well she's foreclosing his house well trying to i assume right ending up with nearly 110 pages of a manuscript which details as much of what i can and let me tell you something, converting this monstrosity into a video with its accompanying half thousand screenshots has been one hell of a monumental task for me, a one person team to embark on. I want to get everything right, or more of I need to, and I need to ensure that everyone's stories are factual. But to do so, I need to pump the brakes and not rush this out for the sake of being able to not stress about my next meal. 
or my next bill for that matter. Because of this, I need to, and more importantly, I want to, continue my regular content so I can afford to live day to day. There is another factor to all of this, a factor which Illuminati has caused, or as I will be calling her throughout this video, Blair. For full transparency, which will be explored more in my future video, Blair and I dated. We were a couple for a decent chunk of time. This puts me in an ungodly- I don't think I remember that. They dated? Did I miss that? They're date- they dated? I don't remember that. What? I just had like- I just had like a-, a I'm having a spurg out. They dated? Isn't Blair like 40? Um, I think she's like 30 something. They did date. I don't remember that at all. That was never mentioned. Was it not mentioned until now? I never followed their stuff. I didn't know that. I thought I followed it. I not new info? Oh, this was out? I didn't even know- I didn't know this at all, bro. Whoa. I didn't know that before I watched the video, but it wasn't mentioned until now. I feel- maybe- I feel like- Oh, was it mentioned maybe once or something? I just don't remember. I didn't- dude. They dated. I didn't know that. A complicated situation of doing everything that I can to try and separate the relationship drama from the pub- That really complicates things. That really changes things. If they dated, they were in a relationship. What is being in a relationship with Blair like? She's just torturing you all day? She's threatening you with lawsuits? Like- you wake up, she's like, hey, honey, I just repaired a new defamation lawsuit. <laughs> hey, honey, so I ended up having some of my friends go through some of your old Discord DMs, and um, turns out you said some slurs in there. I think you used the R slur. Bit ableist. Yeah, we're going to be posting that on the alt account. The alt account is going to love this one, sweetie. Okay, bye. Breakfast in bed soon. Public drama. As... In the process of dating her, there are a lot of things which I bore witness to. Before anything else, I want to firmly state that this update is being made. So the video that this dude makes is not just going to be like an, like a kind of middle of the road video or even like a friendship perspective. This is going to be like, I dated this person. This is what the relationship was like. That's what this video is going to be. That's going to be a crazy video to see. That's going to be an insane video, man. I'm excited for that. Wait, I have Fortnite open? Hold on. I got close. That's going to be an amazing video, though. Damn, I'm hyped for that. I mean, on one hand, I kind of feel like maybe her relationship details don't need to be exposed like that may be a little sh but i would mostly feel the way if it was any other person and in this case like it's blair so she would probably do the same thing to anyone else i don't really feel that bad for her that's crazy though they did when he was 20 okay i gotcha an x video on you is insane yeah this is a big this is a big lore update though i didn't realize they dated at all i maybe i just missed that maybe my research was uh worse than i thought with the understanding that there is a likelihood that this will end up in a courtroom I say this because things have been escalating quite a bit behind the scenes, and the stress has certainly been rising. What I can only describe as retaliation from the person who's my ex, former employer, and prior colleague, Blair is in the process of currently foreclosing my home. Because of this stress of Blair taking my home from me, I need to pump the brakes and change directions so I won't be- What does that mean? Is he living in her house? If the lawsuit's not concluded, then Blair can't just foreclose the house, right? Is it Blair's house? Is he living in Blair's house? If a homeowner is unable to make mortgage payments, the lender takes ownership of the home. The borrower is evicted from the property and the property is sold back to the lender's lost investment. Power of sale. Is, is, is his loan from Blair? She had bad credit. Dating while working. Yikes on Blair's part. Oh, shut the f*** up, bro. Shut up. People always dating. People always working. Okay, that's just part of life. Just accept it. That's how relationships work. If you meet if you meet someone in life, like there's like three places, three places you meet them. It's like on the internet or at work or at um like school or college, right? I don't I don't I don't give a shit that they that they dated when Blair was working. I don't care. Unless they were like unless unless she was like unless you fuck me, I'm not gonna pay you unless you fuck me. I'm not gonna pay you unless you eat me out, which I predict Blair probably didn't say, but. My assumption is he owns the house on paper, but Blair's income is used to secure it, and now she's not paying, meaning the bank takes the home. Yeah. Homeless come Christmas. Because that's when Blair set my home to foreclose. Right before Christmas. And yes, Blair has the power to set the foreclosure sale. This situation was a fear and hesitation that I had from the beginning. Even telling Wonder as far back as April, a day before my thread went up. I'd say that if you want to go public, you have pretty much a large portion of SM backing you. I assume that means sad milk. Speaking today has lifted a weight off my chest. I don't have to hide or watch my words. I'm scared, man. She has the power to evict me from my house. If she were to do that, you go public with that too. She gets scared, doubles down, and then evicts you. She'd permanently lose her platform. She wouldn't dare. She wouldn't dare. She can barely reply to legal eagle. She wouldn't do such a thing. I'm going to be sick. Are you home right now and able to talk? As far as permanently lose her platform, I mean, she's going to lose her... I mean, she's not going to lose her channel. People aren't going to want to listen to her even more. 
which her channel is already pretty much dead. Let's see here. David Ike thinks you might be a lizard. This is her latest video. What are the comments like on this? I used to be such a big fan of her. I was shocked when I learned all she did. I feel so bad for all the people Blair has slandered and harassed. They didn't deserve it. And Blair, you've lost all respect I once had. I hope you sort yourself out and start making up for what you did instead of yelling and throwing blame and harassing the people who escaped your abuse. Genuinely impressed at how we as a community haven't let her off the hook. Great job, guys. Dude, literally zero people are, like, enjoying the video. How are you still releasing videos? When you die, the only people who will remember you hate you. It's funny how the person criticizing bad people is actually a horrible person herself. Literally not a single positive comment. That's crazy. That is crazy. Not that I was mortified that if I spoke out against Blair or even dared to cross her, that she would retaliate with taking Those are all new too. Yeah, these are all new videos. Blair's ops are, are preying on her downfall. Not that I blame them that much. Her channel's going to Jalen level of viewers. Yeah, we'll get, give it like two weeks, we'll be there. Home from me. When I did speak out, as many of you are aware, Blair sent me a cease and desist. A cease and desist, by the way, over a Twitter thread which she apologized for not only in her video, but as mm. well as privately. Despite this, I persisted on working on my video, continuing the production of something which started as 20 pages, then slowly grew into the novel that it's become. Throughout this entire process, I had the fear that once I released this video, Blair would drop the hammer on me. I've lived the last four months of my life with the looming threat of Blair's retaliation. And truth being, from my understanding, she could have done this as early as June. Why is the video not out yet? I feel like the video should just come out. Like drop the video, you get a bunch of ad revenue from it, and then you can just move somewhere else. As to why Blair waited so long, I'm- I mean, it sucks to move, but it's better than staying in, in a house that like Blair has any say in whether or not you live there, right? Um, also four months, like just drop the, does it take that long? Is it like a 12 hour video? I feel like you should just drop it at that point, man. Honestly unsure. To me, it feels like Blair is She's taking every course you. of action that she can to prevent this video from being produced. From legal threats to trying to take my home which wouldn't be surprising considering Blair's alleged white collar crimes I intend to expose with evidence within my video. Before any of this, however- White collar crimes? Is Blair the wolf, the wolf of YouTube? <laughs> every, every, that's white collar crimes. What the fuck does that mean? I am taking the proper legal channels and speaking with the right people to elevate this down the needed path. Because of this, it would be unwise of me to reveal further information. I can only assume this is one of the reasons Blair is so determined to shut down my video's production. And Blair looks like Crystal Ann from IP2. Crystal Ann IP2. Yeah, actually. Blair does kind of look like Crystal Ann. That's crazy. To repeat myself from earlier, every word that I speak within this update is with the explicit understanding that this video may end up on the floor of a courtroom. In order for me to fight this, regular production of my content is needed to help fund the production of this said video. The reason why I'm making this update is so it's understood that I'm not just ignoring my obligations and responsibilities and suddenly hiding behind a flurry of videos in hopes that people will one day forget. The reason why this video has taken so much time as it has is not only am I a one-man team producing this, but I'm also continually uncovering more segments to the story and hearing more and more voices that come forward to speak their side of things. Interviews, questionnaires, screenshots, the works, all from a number of individuals. During this process- Illuminati's definitely molding right now. I feel like at some point you've got to just, uh... You got to just call it, like, enough and just do it. Because if it gets too exhaustive, then people just aren't going to care. People have already watched hours and hours and hours of Illuminati exposed videos. Like at a certain point, if the video is literally 12 hours long, people are not really going to watch. They're just not. Um, the video is never coming out. He's going to keep asking for money. I think the video will come out. I would love to see the video come out. I don't think that they have any reason to lie. Um, and they're also not even asking for money. They're saying that they're going to make, you know, Oz is saying that he's going to make videos pretty soon. So he's not really asking anyone for money, but um, I'm just curious. I feel like you could just get it out. You know, just drop it. The video will continue to remain under production. I guess he has a GoFundMe. I mean, I saw that. Yeah, but that's for legal fees. And also, like, what did he raise? Like, like 10 grand or something? I assume the GoFundMe is down here. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Okay, 30 grand, actually, quite a bit. But it's being used for legal fees. I mean, I have no reason to believe this person's lying. I don't think this is like a blue wolf situation, okay? Because of her retaliation. While she did successfully give me pause, I do fully intend to complete this video. Now, let's talk about how Blair is even able to foreclose on me. What put her in a position of power beyond a landlord, a mortgagee, which in my eyes is something even worse. 
As a quick note, Blair's name is not on any of the original documents related to my home. I'm providing all of this information to give full context to the GoFundMe as I feel it's more than deserved. As honestly, I would feel guilty as hell putting the video on pause shortly after it hit its funding goal followed by me just continuing to upload regular content without warning. More details will of course follow with the main video, as I do not have time to fully expand on I don't hate this video, but I feel like it could have been way more concise. Like this could have been seven minutes. Everything. As I briefly stated previously, Blair and I dated. We started when I was 20 and she was 28. And currently, I'm 23, almost 24. In the beginning, Blair walked me into several poor financial decisions. My naivety caused me to believe her reassurances that I could handle all of the financial obligations being dropped onto my shoulders by someone more experienced in life than I was. Man, I'm not one to pick apart relationships too much online. Like I'm, I'm typically someone who's just kind of, I don't know, if someone has a bad relationship, I don't really care unless they someone, I don't give a shit. But in this case, getting like a young, impressionable kid into like bad financial agreements and then them later, and I don't mean having sex, I mean like them out of um, their money, pretty evil man pretty evil really not good um if you're if you're dating someone don't let them financially own you okay listen up boys listen up young men a little bit of andrew tate advice uh don't 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 <laughs> don't literally 50 percent older 20 equals child i mean i don't mean literal child i just mean like if you're 28 years old and you're encouraging a 20 year old to make dumb financial decisions that they don't fully grasp because they're like literally 20 you know what i mean that's pretty bad, buddy. Is this the white Bowser stream? Yeah, this is the white Bowser stream, buddy. It's evil, but he isn't completely off the hook. He should have done his research. I mean, yes, he should have done his research, but when you're 20 years old, dude, I'm 20 years old. I'm straight up, okay? I don't know anything. Why these obligations were placed onto me? At the time, Blair had bad credit. So all of the purchases, loans, everything was being placed in my name. This thing How do you have bad credit when you have like a million dollar YouTube channel? Like having at least like seven, like like a 700 credit score, I feel like is like pretty easy. I think my credit score is like 730. And like I have had, I've had my credit card for like two years, maybe. Like I feel like it's not that hard to have okay credit. I feel like it's not that, I feel like it's not that tough. Did she just take out a ridiculous amount of debt? Did she do the, uh, did she do the debt maxing method? You guys know the one. <laughs> um, this is such a classic video, man. Robert Kiyosaki. So we did something bad. We took a rental car through a romp in the woods. A rental car, the most precious commodity that a father has. He spends money to send a rental. MDE never dies, never refunds, never pays Enterprise. Never pays Toyota credit. F you, F you Toyota credit. Toyota Financial, I owe you five or 6,000. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that right away. Even if I have the money, you're never getting it. Oh, I'll get that for you right away, sir. Here, here you go. That's me rushing to pay Toyota Financial. That's me rushing to pay Aprilia Financial. Oh, I just remembered. Oh, I just remembered. I owe a bunch of people a lot of money. Let me sprint to go pay that. <laughs> That's Blair in real life. <laughs> included the car that she purchased then revoked from wonderstruck i was on the loan as a co-signer only because of my so you have 500k in debt that's rough i think i'm technically debt free now i paid off my student loans in like one sum i had um i had like eight grand in student loans i paid it off um just like in full so i have no student loans now um, I guess I have like, I mean, I don't have like accumulating credit card debt. I mean, within any month, I have like up to a few thousand dollars in credit card debt and then I pay it off. And then, you know, I rack up a little more debt the next month and I pay it off. So I don't, it doesn't accrue interest though. It's just like, I use a credit card and then I pay it off at the end of the month. You know what I'm saying? Credit at the time. Eventually though, the financial responsibilities that I incurred would stack up on me. Building a mountain of monthly debt that would lead me into several financially tight months and eventually just breaking. This would lead me to asking Blair, my partner, for financial help financial help for things such as my home which she was living in help from my partner who at any given time would be making up to 30 times my monthly income these amounts of assistance would be added to a ledger of i want to clarify again blair wasn't my bank she wasn't my landlord she was my partner at this time this ledger also includes things such as a non-refundable design fee and land deposit on a multi-million dollar custom home that she threatened to break up with me if i didn't agree to proceed on this with her as well as other financial expenses Wait, what the f 
She got him to buy a house? This ledger also includes things such as a non-refundable design fee and land deposit on a multi-million dollar custom home that she threatened to break up with me if I didn't agree to proceed on this with her. So I was about to ask where all the money came, like where all the money went, because Oz Media has 500,000 subscribers. Um, let's see here, how many month total views? 138 million views. I mean, he could have made a couple hundred thousand off that. Um, how many total channel views do I have? On my main channel, what do I have? My ad rate is probably higher than his because my videos are longer, but I have 170 million total channel views. I feel like this dude should have at least, like, th should have had at least, like, 300k in the bank or something. Um, eh, maybe, okay, maybe less than that, maybe 270, but, like, still, like, there should be at least a couple hundred thousand. Where the f*** did all that go? I mean, you take that, you take that money that he could have made, you take away, maybe he was paying other people, like parts of it. Was he paying Blair his income or something? Did he have a super high rent as a result of living in, or sorry, like, was he paying off the full mortgage um, as a result of living in this house? And it was like four or $5,000 crazy amount a month. Like what, what was it? Bro was blinded by love. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for him. Blair manipulation. Yeah, I guess. Um, I just kind of feel bad. I've looked into Frederick Nudson's Patreon saga. No video for years. VTuber antics and paywall updates. His recent community post says it all. I don't know. I don't really want to shit on that guy. He's probably just working on stuff. Maybe I'll look after for a sec. I don't know. I have no reason to believe he's like trying to scam anyone or anything. As well as other financial expenses that I honestly can't account for, nor even come close to this number when digging through my own finances. This ledger would creep into the range of $180,000, oh. an insurmountable amount where I don't even understand how she got there. That's where it went. <laughs> That's where the money went. That number ballooned higher and higher, the number ever increasing, and I never questioned it out of guilt for That's literally help. where all of it went. Guilt from her telling everyone, from her friends to my friends, to her employees, to hell, even her Discord staff, about my finances, oftentimes unprompted. What? That is, she did this to her ex-boyfriend? That's interesting. Dude, Blair is, is gaslighting, gatekeeping, and girl bossing literally every guy and person she comes in contact with. She's, she's like, listen, I got bad credit. You're going to help me get a house, and then I'm going to you and then your credit's gonna be bad <laughs> she's she's passing on the gift of uh passing on the gift of bad credit to everyone she knows it's it's contagious when you when you know her that's crazy guilt involving the fact that everyone i interacted with on a day-to-day -day basis looked down on me for her words towards me my own partner the person who was supposed to be my other half was actively putting me in a position where she was chipping away at my mental health i was afraid to tell anyone what was happening because she yeah, had convinced me that I was a based? parasite. That I, I avoided telling anyone who could have helped who could have helped me see what was happening out of fear of further confirmation. More eyes looking down on me. Something to note: when you're around Blair, your world revolves around her. In my case, my home was hers, despite her name not being on it. I had no friends out in Colorado, a state that I moved to at the behest of Blair. Only Blair's friends were out here. All of my connections had to be approved by her. I wasn't allowed to be friends with people she didn't like, such as Click and One Topic, or even Wonder, once that bridge was burned and reduced to cinders. I was even in a position where my finances were nearly entirely controlled by her, from what debts I took on, to later being the fact that she was the person who <clears throat> signed my paychecks. All yeah, while my world guy. was painted to me in a light where I should be grateful for her generosity. Look for the people in chat saying this is his fault. I mean, he did make some poor decisions. It wasn't until recently. Undoubtedly. Um, there's a level of personal responsibility here, but I mean, he's pretty young. He's tw like 20 years old at the time that this stuff happened. Blair was almost 30. Um, I, I feel bad for him. I feel like, I don't know. It's hard for him to know. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard for a kid, for a young person who's only a few years out of high school, um, to know how to deal with these things responsibly. You know, he was 20. So I'll give it a pass. I think, uh, yeah, I feel like you, you have to, he was young, a trusted and abusive person. It seems that way. I feel, I just feel bad for him, man. You know, I really do. Um, yeah, poor kid. His biggest mistake was being attracted physically to Blair. Recently, when I explained my situation to my parents, my friends outside of Blair's control, that I began to understand just how perverse my life had become for nearly three years. And I want to add, I years? tried to pay Blair back in any way that I could, by the way. I felt indentured to her by this debt she had hanging over my head. Hell, I even took a position in her company at a lower pay to try and pay this debt back, offered to work with her in her crypto farm for free to pay back the debt. Blair has a crypto farm? Hmm, how much money does this make? I thought she was like probably anti-crypto. 
Bitconnect, the wannabe Bitcoin Ponzi scheme. Bitcoins, pigeons, and Russians. I feel like her audience is the kind of audience to needlessly hate any cryptocurrency. I'm not saying that these are good ones, but to needlessly hate cryptocurrency as a whole, just based off the facts that um, it's crypto and it's cringe and NFTs are cringe and all that stuff, which is an opinion I find really bad because there's definitely a decent use case for cryptocurrency. But there's also a decent use case for NFTs, but Blair had a crypto farm. What is that? What is a Okay, what is a crypto farm? Summary, Bitcoin farms are large-scale facilities designed to mine Bitcoins using a network. Oh, so literally the, the Bitcoin mining. So did she just have a room full of like high-power computers that were mining Bitcoin and then selling it off? I think you can, you can mine Ethereum as well. GPU farming, interesting. Her audience seems anti-crypto when she does that. That's what I'm saying. I feel like her audience would be anti-cryptocurrency. And yet she's out, she's out here money-maxing with a, a, a crypto farm? That is so interesting, man. This story just gets deeper and deeper the more you get into it. How does she have the time for all this stuff? Anything that I could to try and make myself feel useful. While I worked for Blair's company, I helped improve it in any way that I could with my- So I would imagine Blair's probably making a decent amount of money outside of YouTube. She's probably financially set. She also stole research. I mean, I heard about that stuff. Yeah. That one seemed a little bit overblown, honestly. The, the stolen research thing, the plagiarism stuff. That, that, seemed, that seemed overblown from the one example I saw. But um, Blair used to do base content. A new persona is just an act for her audience. It seems that way. It seems like she almost convinced herself that she did believe that stuff, though. Just based on the fact she kept it up for so long. But I remember when she was based, I remember, you know, um, Nick would tell me how she went on, like, Tommy C shows and stuff. And she used to play, like, a stereotype of, like, a cringy feminist-type person, and now, you know, like, like she, was literally the, she was literally the SJW stereotype. That was her whole meme. Honestly, I would be pissed AF if a successful YouTuber put my ass in debt. I mean, I'd be bad, mad if anyone put me in debt. I'd be more mad if someone put me in debt than if they me. <laughs> That's just my personal, my personal opinion, but <laughs> I would be more mad. Way more mad. Financial financial ownage um like screwing over someone financially i think is like literally the worst thing you can do to someone horrible why is everyone saying oh bro i don't know what to tell you like <laughs> my money is really important to me if someone like ripped that away from me i'd be so mad so angry agree to disagree well that's your personal opinion this is just my own <laughs> obviously most people don't have that priority but I would be way more angry, bro. Blair girl boss is too close to the sun. Seems that my way. My knowledge of how YouTube worked. I was able to assist in the push for Blair's channel to make the sudden and stark rise into a new payout range of six figures a month. All while I was being paid not even enough to get by with my monthly bills. And Blair was very aware of my finances. I sacrificed a lot of my time to try and recoup this debt while also trying to help save her channel. Because in 2021, due to personal and private reasons expressed to me by Blair, this would lead me to up and almost entirely abandon my channel throughout the year of 2022. More of this story later, because there are more pieces. But this led to the and end that of- that video that he posted in the end is gonna be absolutely insane. It's gonna be insane. White collar crimes, $180,000 debt to pay to her. This is literally going to be the most amazing video I've ever seen in my life. Dude, the videos I'm going to make, I'm going to make like seven videos about that one video. I'm going to react to the whole thing. Bro, the, con the content, listen, I know this is like a personal thing for Oz Media. Probably sounds to treat this insensitively, but bro. The content, just think about the content, okay? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> think about the content. She bullied someone in high school and made a Facebook post asking, is 150k will be okay to bury the hatchet? They took it because they needed to pay their medicines. She gave someone $150,000 because she bullied someone in high school? What? What the f*** are you talking about? If you get bullied in high school, are you requesting 150k from the person who bullied you? That seems a little insane. What is it? Where is this even coming from? Is that in this video or is this just made up? White collar crimes. Wait till you see the blue collar crimes. Breaking bad OST. Yeah, true, buddy. <laughs> true. Base. End of 2022, where Blair would take advantage of not only my financial strife, but both my legal and financial illiteracy in December of that year. When I was 23 and Blair was nearly 31, Blair, with her lawyer, would create an honestly quite confusing legal when document for me to sign where I would agree to pay back her debt. Blair, being the person who signed my checks, knew that I couldn't afford legal representation. Blair also knew that the two and a half thousand dollars that she was having me pay monthly towards that debt was almost as much as I was making monthly working for her. This would mean that I could barely pay for anything else in my life other than the debt that I owed her. 
everything I made mm. working for her was going right back into her pocket. Is this financial grooming, Tom? Wouldn't this age gap be huge? I mean, I wouldn't use the term grooming at all, but I would say it's 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 a horrible thing to do to someone to to try and ruin them financially or take advantage of them financially when you're in a relationship with them, especially when you have a lot more financial you know experience and literacy than that person. I feel like that's that's horrible, you know? Blair would bring me to her lawyer's Damn, but we can talk later if you want. office. Put me in a room alone with the two of them, with papers in front first. of me. Papers which I foolishly signed for a myriad of reasons ranging from Blair expressing that this would mend our relationship, that it was the right thing for me to do, that this would also protect her legally and prevent her from getting into trouble with the IRS. She also would describe to me, and while I can't remember if this exact word was ever used, she essentially explained to me that because she used company funds to assist me, that she had committed embezzlement. Whoa! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Is she going to jail? And while I can't remember she if this exact by the SEC? word was ever used, she essentially explained to me that because she used company funds to assist me, that she had committed embezzlement. And by converting the amount that I owed her into a loan with her company, this would save her skin legally. Now, to most people, she's that word Nicole may Arbor. not have a lot of meaning. But to me... I mean, I, I guess in the way that she's like a shitty woman, I feel like she's not that much like Nicole Arbor. When I was 11, my mother was incarcerated for this exact crime, a remnant of the 2008 financial crisis. This taught me a very harsh... His mom was put in jail for embezzlement? Dude, what is going on? What is all these people? My mind is breaking. Your mom went to jail for embezzling funds? Lesson from an early age. What is going but on? More importantly, Blair was aware of this past of mine. Whether this was used against me, I can't say for certain. But the idea of another person I loved being locked away, but this time for my actions, words cannot describe the guilt that I have. So he's claiming that Blair confessed to embezzling funds to him. And the reason why she said to him is because she thought he wouldn't say anything because his mom went to jail for embezzling funds. I don't, the rabbit hole just gets deeper and deeper, man. Deeper and deeper and deeper. As and deeper. I briefly stated earlier, Blair used this debt as a promise that this would specifically help mend our relationship, not our friendship, and put us on a better f It wouldn't be until a few weeks after signing that document that I would learn that she had already moved on and had almost everyone in my daily life keep this fact a secret from me. Blair used all of this, promises of reconciliation and other factors, which will soon be further elaborated on, as means to get me to sign a document known as a deed of trust. I wasn't aware of the power that this document held, what it does, what it allowed her to- Deed of trust. I don't know what a deed of trust is. Deed of trust. Investopedia. A deed of trust, also known as a trust deed, is a document sometimes used in finance, financed real estate transactions, generally instead of a mortgage. Deeds of trust transfer the legal title of a property to a third party, such as a bank, escrow company, or title company to hold until the borrower repays the debt to the lender. Okay. Okay. To do. Again, I couldn't afford legal representation. She knew this. This document gave her the power to foreclose if I was unable to make a monthly payment of nearly $2,500 for nearly a decade. Blair knew that even with my income working for her, that this wasn't possible. So it feels as though she knew that I would be destined to fall behind, that this outcome was inevitable. If the home is foreclosed or if I decide to sell. I just don't understand how this, okay, I understand he had the, the $180,000 ledger, but I feel like from just posting consistent content, like, well, he doesn't really post. Why doesn't he post? Could have just made a bunch of money on posting, I feel like. You got to post, bro. I mean, I'm glad he's getting back to it now, but you just you, you just got to post and make money, man. Blair gets in the... This guy dated Satan? I mean, it seems that immediate way. Immediate payout. And it's because of this that I'm hesitant to take the easy way out. There's also the fact that there's just not enough equity in the home. That if this were to foreclose <clears throat> upon, Blair would still be out money, and she could then sue me further to get that money back. If you're looking for an easy point of evidence, as you can see with wonder, Blair has a habit of taking advantage of younger men, eight years younger than her, and their financial illiteracy for her own personal gain. Originally, I assumed that I would have the video produced by now, but unfortunately, I overestimated my abilities and also had to deal with the legal and financial stress which followed. It's obvious to me that I need to focus on myself and not destroy my well-being for this video. This, of course, leads me to the GoFundMe. Not a penny of what has been raised will be used to repay Blair. I will be using the aid given for legal fees and only necessary expenses. The purpose is to aid me in potentially breaking out of what I can only call a manipulative situation with several lanes of legal red tape in front of me. 
This money will be used to secure a legal retainer in any legal cost. And once and only once the legal front is secured, will I use the funding to help with monthly finances related to securing my home. Finances which are not tied to Blair in any way. I also want to add that I'm not trying to escape any debt that I may rightfully owe Blair. I just don't want to lose my home or lose it from retaliation. For further future transparency, I intend to provide updates with my GoFundMe which will include progress updates and invoices when applicable. I intend to be as transparent as I legally can throughout all of this. And of course, I wanted to thank everyone for their patience with me. And I felt that this update was more than deserved for everyone who's been here so far. Thank you all. Also, he took the furniture. Okay, look, I think this guy, I do feel bad for him. Um, people in chat are speculating on grooming. I don't think he was saying there was any grooming going on. He was just saying he was like young, financially illiterate, and she took advantage of that to get him in this poor situation. Um, I'm curious how this is going to go in court because obviously she's currently suing him. Um, and she wants to foreclose the house, so I wonder how that's going to go. But um, I don't really know how this is going to. I don't. I don't. I don't really know how this is going to play out in court. Ultimately, we have limited information. We only have this guy's accounting of events. Now, I would venture to say that he's probably telling the truth, if I had to guess, based on everything Blair's done, right? Based on her basically pathological lying at this point. Um, Blair is a girl boss. I support her. Base. She took the furniture. Yeah. What is she took like the couches? Um, but yeah. So you know what? I hope this guy figures out his stuff. Um, it's not grooming, definitely conning. I mean, yeah, he's 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 straight up accusing her of white collar crimes of embezzling funds from her company, right? Um, so I'm curious how that's going to go. Ultimately, I think we're going to get more updates on this situation um, pretty soon. I would imagine Queen Behavior TBH, yeah, sure, dude. Financial financial mommy dommy. Uh, she's making the piggies pay. Okay, she's she's relentless. Um, yeah, man, that's the Illuminati drama. Consistently, has been one of the most entertaining sagas of all time. How does she have the time for all this stuff, man? How does she have the time to have a, cri a, a crypto farm? That's how she's making her money? That's like a direct contradiction to everything that we saw prior. Am I wrong? That's a direct contradiction to everything like, like based on her channel. Because her whole thing was like being a leftist and hating the right wing, anti-landlords, um, anti-big companies. And now, I mean, she's literally, she's, she's engaging in the worst of all time. She's engaging in, in, in owning a crypto farm to like mine Ethereum or Bitcoin or something, at least according to this guy. Grifter? I mean, maybe, yeah. You could probably use that term at this point. If you can call Sneeko a grifter, I feel like you can call Blair a grifter. I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. That was an insane video, man. The crypto farm is a hard turn for us former fans, Tom. Yeah, I imagine. This while all of us seemingly came out of nowhere. I mean, it didn't come out of nowhere. It was all just behind the scenes. We just didn't know. She probably outsources almost everything and keeps everyone she hires on a tight leash. Yeah, it seems that way, man. It seems like that's that's the way that she's going. Um, Republican cosplaying as a liberal. How cute. Not even just a liberal, dude. Um... Illuminati. She made, she was making videos with like copaganda, which I I feel like typically like neo libs don't hate cops that much. In 2020, the United States saw one of the most massive protests take place in our nation's history. The George Floyd protests that summer came with an endless wave of opinions. This is the stuff she was talking about, and on top of that, Illuminati was also doing videos with um the Surfs. I think they had a podcast together, and they would they would like do content together all the time. The leftist mafia's full response on the Illuminati. Like, like, like. What the nature of this situation is, because like I said, when we, when we addressed it on the after show, for those who've seen it, I said, I didn't know. I didn't, I did not watch the exposés because I was not somebody going to go out of my way. I figure this is drama. I, that's what I thought. We're always mm -hmm. like, you know. To it also started way sentiment. more minor too, right? But, it was like, it was like but, but, yeah, accusations but, but, of like but, but, little but, things that escalated to bigger. Blair was on this podcast with these people, dude. No, I don't live stream. I don't do those with things. With Matt Binder, Lance from the Surfs, Olay. I like to create. David Dole and Mike, Mike, how do you say the name? Mike Figueredo. I feel like I developed like an even more intense like 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 stutter on stream. By the way, I'm just the saying. Little like universe that I can. My be fucking Tourette's is flaring. I don't even know if I have Tourette's, oh, but it's whatever it is. It's flaring. Olay does this show on the DL. She's she a labeled a crypto as a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> want her audience yeah, to know that she does yeah. <laughs> on the sly. Yeah, if you go to her channel and you type in crypto, I mean, she's got a bunch of videos talking about cryptocurrency stuff. BitConnect, the wannabe Bitcoin Ponzi scheme, explaining what an NFT is and how it affects you. So before we get into today's episode, I just want to let you all know that my limited time plushie is finally live. I saw some poor artists today saying the NFT community treats me better than the art community ever did. They treat me like family. And if that if, and if that does not scream cult, I don't know what does. It's over at makeshift.com to buy it in August 2021. 
Being apparently just a big old Captain Moneybag, our dude ponied up about 244,000 pounds in Ethereum cryptocurrency to snack. Like she's like shitting on people for this stuff. How can you do that when, how can you do that when your, enti your entire thing, you own a crypto farm. That's insane. Man, I'm excited to see where the Illuminati drama goes, man. I'm, um, I'm really excited for that. That's going to change my life. That video that Blair's going to put out is going to change my life. Oh my god. And if you liked this video, consider becoming a member. For $5 a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts, unreleased videos, and the members-only Minecraft server. Thanks so much to all of my YouTube members who fund my content.